I want to present to you a case of rural community cancer center being transformed by virtual multidisciplinary tumor boards. These are, well, my disclosure is that I'm a medical oncologist working in Tyler, Texas, which is a rural community. They, this slide actually summarized the digital health um, conversation timeline for our virtual multidisciplinary tumor boards in rural Texas. To begin with, we have two healthcare systems essentially, one that has four tumor board uh, providing services for one hospital system, and the other has three tumor board providing services for seven hospital site system. So by in April, 2019, we decided to consolidate all of the cancer service line into one if we're moving toward a community cancer center. By November of 2019, we consolidate all of the tumor board into one set of tumor board. And in March of 2020, we already decided we need to have a virtual tumor board, but the migration of which we didn't think was gonna come that soon. Because COVID 2019 pandemic hit Texas at the peak in April, um, its first peak in April, we had to migrate over to virtual tumor board within two weeks time. That happened in April, 2020. And then in August, 2020, as part of an ongoing quality assessment and um, improvement, we sent out a survey to our providers and participants on the tumor board about the experience of tumor board. And I'll share you the result of that in the breakout session. What's important to see here on this slide is also the four steps that I think are crucial in converting to a multidisciplinary tumor board that is virtual. Step one, establishing the foundation. Step two is a decision on partnership so that you can have an easy solution or a quick solution to migrate to virtual tumor board. And step three, you pick a date and you go for it and transform or migrate all of the tumor board to virtual tumor board. And step four, which is most important, is an ongoing quality assessment and improvement. For the uh, step one for us, which is consolidation of the tumor board, this is laying down the foundation that was so crucial for the eventual migration over to virtual tumor board. This defined the goals and tasks of tumor boards. It designate a facilitator for each of the tumor board with basic responsibility. It homogenized the intake of case submission. It introduced the um, tumor board discussion protocol and it select we, through this consolidation, select the most appropriate cloud-based tumor board platform. So the benefit of going with a cloud-based tumor board platform is summarized here, but for us, the most important, especially for me, is a partnership. We select our partnership with Roche using their Navify tumor board solution. A cloud-based tumor board platform is very important in having a digital format for increase efficiency and future expansion of multiple tumor board. It also fulfilled the need for virtual tumor board as we move forward because it enabled a virtual participa participation of experts in rural cancer service line that do not have access to expertise. And it enabled virtual participation of a healthcare provider in remote sites, as well as it ensure the continuity of patient-centric multidisciplinary care. And it provide a very quick and immediate solution for continuity of care during our COVID pandemic as it turned out for us. And this, um, this uh, cloud-based tumor board also provide a cloud-based oncology informatic solution that secure a clinical platform for communication and connecting different sites. It streamlined patient presentation and it generate a secure database for patient um, registry, tumor registry. It is a agnostic enhancing tool as I see them, the cloud-based tumor board platform because it is compatible with many communication platforms. So step two for us was having the right partnership. And the reason we have that right partnership and selecting the right tumor board um, platform is that it was very important and allow us to have an ease to migrate to virtual tumor board through the partnership with industry, with in this case for us Roche, as well as our tumor board registry, the administration, 
what of all of the hospital system that is in our system, we were able to finalize a workflow that is unique to our local tumor board uh, process that allow us to duplicate and um, expand or scale up. So step four for us, we didn't hesitate. We pick a date and we go live. All four of our tumor board went uh, virtual on April 1st, uh, 2020. And it went without a hitch and it went perfectly fine. And what we noticed immediately after, next slide, after the conversion over to the virtual tumor board, we see a huge difference between before cloud-based tumor board um, and virtual tumor board is the post transformation. By transformation, I meant cloud-based tumor board platform usage in virtual tumor board. The, the transformation post uh, transformation, we saw a harmonization of patient care preparation, time efficient and concisely facilitated presentation, we have a secure repository for pathology images and some radiology images already. And we have a 100% application of guidelines and identification of candidate for research protocol, as well as an increase already immediately with the transformation of physician attendant and increase of external physician expert uh, physician participation. So the last step in our um, uh, no nonsense transformation over virtual tumor board is the continuing uh, of quality assessment and improvement. We did this um, survey four months after the conversion or migration over virtual tumor board. And the result of which I will share in the breakout session um, with you guys a little bit. Um, in the end, I just wanna say that all of the steps that we have was very crucial um, with laying the foundation, picking the right partners, selecting a date and go live. And then of course, the continuing assessment and improvement of the quality of the virtual tumor board.